Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Notability and saving files from uh, Notability, not just within the file itself, but saving it to some sort of cloud server. So let's go ahead and open up Notability. You're gonna see I have zero files in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the setup for a cloud drive. So bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna see a gear icon. Go ahead and press on that. You're gonna see the settings screen, auto backup, manage accounts, iCloud, etc. Now, this seems really, really easy for using iCloud. Um, you sort of flip the switch on iCloud right there, and essentially you're good to go. Now, the one thing that we did find out is that if you only have notability on your iPad, this iCloud feature does not work. For this to work, you need to have notability on your Mac, which is a $10 purchase. And then when you sort of flip this switch here on iCloud, it's gonna sync notability on your iPad to notability on your Mac for easy editing, okay? Now, because that does cost 10 bucks, not all of you are gonna to wanna to go down that pathway. So let's talk about using another sort of cloud service. So instead of choosing iCloud, choose Manage Accounts, and you'll see that you can choose choose from Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, or Box to connect to. Again, this is gonna be super easy if you have one of these cloud providers and you have their app already installed on your device. So we're gonna go ahead and choose Dropbox. We're gonna choose Login. It's gonna ask here if you wanna authorize Notability to connect to Dropbox. You're gonna say Allow. And once you do that, it's gonna link all those files together, uh, link those two together. Dropbox is now linked to my Notability account. So go ahead, bottom left-hand corner again. We're gonna also wanna make sure that we turn on the auto backup feature. Now really quick, you know that this is working, first off, that you're connected to Dropbox because now Dropbox says log out instead of log in. So let's go ahead and choose auto backup over here. We're gonna choose Dropbox for our auto backup and it's now gonna be saving these PDFs automatically. Now within your Dropbox folder, there's gonna be a new folder called Notability, and that's where all of this content is gonna go and get backed up. So one strategy that students have done is to go into Dropbox on your computer, take all the files that you want from Canvas and put them into a Dropbox folder within that Notability folder. That way all that stuff is gonna be in there for very easy access. So if you do that approach, which is sort of like a laptop-based approach to make this work, this is how we're gonna take files and open them up in Notability. So let's go ahead and get out of the settings feature. Upper right hand corner, there's an import button. We're gonna choose Dropbox. It's gonna allow us to now sort of browse through all of our Dropbox. We're gonna go find the Notability folder. Let's see, Notability right there. You're gonna see a couple of files that I have in there already. We're gonna go ahead and open that up, create a new note, import, and now we can start playing and editing that file. Here we go, we're now able to start annotating we're going to go ahead and make some annotations here we're going to sort of circle we're going to write we're going to highlight and we're done so when you're done press the back button um, it allows you to sort of get back to this main screen of just the recent files that you've worked with. Now, if you make a change, I wanna point out in the bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna see the option there that says backing up. So let's go ahead and make a quick change here. Let's go ahead and erase something. Let's erase all that highlighting. Now, we're gonna to look towards the bottom left-hand side. When you do that, it's gonna say backing up and then it disappears and says finished. That means you know everything is being synced up, okay? So again, importing notes, we're gonna import from Dropbox. We're in the Dropbox folder. We're gonna go ahead and find the content. It's gonna be default in Notability. You can pull in PDFs that way, for example, and go from there. Now the other option is gonna be going from, say, Canvas on a web page and pulling that into Notability directly. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have a PDF out of Canvas. This is the introduction to the Sim Center. So in the upper left-hand corner, there's a More button. We're gonna then choose Import with Notability. And when you do that, it's gonna say Create New Note. We're gonna import all the selected pages and that file is going to be right within there and again we can sort of annotate that 
and we're happy. So when we're done, if we go back, you'll see the bottom left hand corner, it's gonna say backing up. So by default, this is gonna go into Dropbox, because that's where everything is going to be linked to. Now to confirm that, again, we can do the import from option, just to make sure, go to Dropbox, go to that notability folder within Dropbox. Let's go ahead and find that one here, notability within Dropbox. You'll now see that intro to sim lecture is within there and it allows us to play around with that. We don't want to re-import it because we already have opened it, but you can see that happy face that we drew on there earlier. And that's it. Importing files with Dropbox plus Notability. Hope that helps.